What's the topics tonight, says Margaret. Margaret Gibb, we have so much to talk about. I will tell all my friends, says Fino Kid. Absolutely, Fino, do please and start a whisper because we need to start building up. I've had the Twitch account for about a year and a bit, I think, but we haven't done anything with it till a couple of weeks ago. And now, of course, we're broadcasting live on the phone in. And I would like people to be watching it live. So, Fino Kid, thank you for watching live tonight on Twitch. And for everybody on Twitch, Scotty underscore McClure. Long time no here, says Thomas. I know, Thomas, it's incredible. Hi from Ayrshire. The TikTokers are all joining us now, which is wonderful. There we go. I will just set that up for you. Uh, now, the phones, do you want to try the phones and see what they're, if they're working okay? 628-9795. 6289795. Just going to have a quick look at the phones as well because you never know. Yes, that should be working all right. Fabulous. There we go. And that's that. Good. Uh, welcome, TikTokers. Lovely to have you with us. So, Scotty Boy, how's things? Says Beachy Beachy. Hello, Scotty. Says La Hoop over in Ireland. Hello, La Hoop. You're part of the phone in now, guys. Hi from Ayrshire. Says Scott. Dinky do, we're notifying every day. That's wonderful. And uh, good to have you all with us. Dinky do, I say. Um, there's lots of new TikTok videos uploaded. If you're on YouTube, then lots of YouTubes for you as well. Ah, Dinky do, says Gareth. Thank you, Gareth. I phoned a psychic last night. She said, What can I do for you? I said, Can you phone me back? It's cheaper. Dinky do to you too. Absolutely, Scott. That's what I say. Has anybody tried the phones just to see if they're working? Uh, here's hoping it all goes smoothly. I hope so, JD. We're doing our best. But the lovely thing is we're on. It's very basic, but we're on. Everybody can see it across the bottom of the screen so they can get the number and they've got the times. And we like that. That is always a good thing, I say. If you've got the number and you've got the times. There we go. Now then, dinky do, dinky do, everybody. Who's your dues, man? Duncan, man. How are you the night? Fit like I said here. Are you chaffing a war? Uh, fit did you hear for your supper tonight? Did you hear some softies? And maybe a bit of a beef. Good local beef. Yes, yes, yes. Locally sourced. Locally sourced beef, very nice, in a soft day. Or you could always have a couple of butteries and cheese. They are, do you hate cheese with your butteries, with your, your rowies? Your rowies, that's what I say to you. Share the video, guys. Thank you very much, Alison. That's lovely. It has been a while, says Kieran. Well, Kieran, don't leave it so long next time, I say to you. You can leave it too long. That's what it's all about. Duncan, that's great to have you with us. Let me know when you're coming on the chat because I'm restreaming. So I want to know if you're watching on Twitch or YouTube or Facebook or LinkedIn. So do let us know. You've got a choice of platforms there. Fantastic. And you've got the number. We've also got this for you just for emergencies. Can you all see that? There are the Scotty McClure YouTube phone in. Call Scotty now, 0141-628-9795. It's a full moon tonight. Well, Angela, we might get one or two strange characters on if it's a full moon. That can happen with any phone in. I used to notice full moon, a lot of serious pressure when we did the three hours a night programs. And you got some interesting people. Share again, YouTube sources, Scott. Good one, Scott. And have you subscribed and tapped the bell? That's what we need to get everybody doing and start building it up. I can only, I'm only as good as you guys are, so I can only build it up if you're building it up. If you've just joined us on TikTok, a very, very warm welcome. It's lovely to have you with us. And dinky do. Hello, Scotty. Greetings from your Dutch friend. Sjöld, Sjöld, Yas, Pementa Husa, Vilchard, Kupete, Heben. Yes, I'm veering mein Klompen. Opinions on Brexit. Brexit, the biggest act of self-harm since the First World War. Yes, Brexiteers have betrayed and broken Britain. And uh, Remainers are the true patriots. We were part of the world's top trading bloc and we gave it up 
for absolutely no reason at all. £250 billion. Pounds. We're down the Swanee, it's good. I used to be GB, I've changed my name. Thank you very much. Hi, Scotty, how are you tonight, says Martin. Martin, we're outstanding tonight. I love this programme. Just tremendous. Thank you for sharing, everybody. Anybody else watching on Twitch? Scotty underscore McClue. I need to get viewers on Twitch and I need to get followers on Twitch. How's the dog doing, says Thomas? Thomas, you want to know this, but the dog passed away about three months ago. But he was 14 and a half. And that's pretty good. Mega to see you again. Many a long night listening to you in the early 90s on Hallam FM in Yorkshire. Netties, was that not just an outstanding radio station? Hallam FM. We absolutely adored it. Uh, so there we go. I lost my job, says Lahoub, due to not having the vaccine. It's a sad day when this has happened to the world. Well, yes, Lahoub. You know, I mean, uh, you know, you can either go with the flow, but you should be allowed a bit of choice. John from Port Glasgow. Yes, John Boy, you are a top man, a Portonian. I love that one. Sorry to hear that, Paul, says Thomas. Not at all, Thomas, as I say. Don't worry, because you want to know, and he did have a great life. Dinky do the new, says Eddie Doyle. Eddie, do us a favor. Try that uh, number and see if it's ringing out or if it will come through to me. 0141628 We've usually had a call or two by now, and I'm just wondering... If there's a wee technical trouble. Sorry for bringing that up, Scotty. I know you don't like talking about it. It's not we don't like talking about it. It's just that the pandemic is everywhere in mainstream media. And I don't think we need it on any of our things. Because we are looking for joy. And for laughter. And for fun. And see if everybody's humour's intact. Ah, yes. Excellent stuff. You're live on Scotty's phone in. Who's that? Thank you to the new Scotties, Eddie Boy. How Eddie you, Boy, right? that's fantastic. I hope you don't mind ringing. Did you get through right oh, away? Oh, Say that again. Did you get through right away? Uh, more or less, just a few seconds, Scotty. Right, right, that's good, that's good. I wasn't sure if there was something wrong with the phone tonight because it usually rings right away. Right, okay. Very I often before, know. and when we did have a wee technical teething trouble last week. People yeah, saying, I've been trying all night to get a hoddy here. <laughs> yeah. Is it resolved now or what? Well, it must be because you and I are chatting. Aye, true, true. So it must be sorted. How are you, Eddie? Are you all right? I am, I'm doing well, Scotty. I'm doing well. Um, but I, I, sometimes when, I, when I'm on you, I, I don't know. Like, I'll, I'll look at you on YouTube. I'll uh -huh. look at you on TikTok. Sometimes you get one of, one of them will buffer. And one of them won't. Ah. I don't understand that. Well, I, I do because what we're doing, we're restreaming to four platforms. So we're right. on Twitch. We're on uh, Facebook. We're on YouTube. And we're on LinkedIn. Uh, now, that uses up a lot of bandwidth. And where okay, I am I, hasn't I, got I, the I, highest I, speed internet. So it's not to do with the quality of the equipment because, as you know, we've replaced the equipment at great expense. And people have been yeah. very generous sending me the odd 10 or 20 quid, you know, numpty. He just Aye. splashed right out. And well, it all it all helps. But I can't do anything. I've got the top internet equipment. But uh, yeah. I know from talking to the company, they said, no, your speeds where you are are not the highest. So what we are doing, we're taking oh, up more right. bandwidth. If I was only yeah. on one platform, there would be no buffering. Yeah. I mean, but, but Scott, you're that, but you're that popular that I don't see why you would have to go on more, more than one platform. But at the end of the day, there might be some people that's on Twitch that's not on TikTok. There might be some people on TikTok that's not on YouTube. Well, quite often people write to me and they say, Scotty, can you go back on YouTube, please? I don't have the other platforms. And I think, well, you can yeah. just go and get them. It is simple to make a TikTok account, Scott. Yeah, I made one, made one up in seconds. Ah, you made one up when we when we got in touch, and the TikTok's very, very popular. It is. Yeah, you know, hi, TikTokers. Is, yeah. We're saying hi, dinky do. Glasgow Rangers are the champions, says a guy. Well, we'll have to say <laughs> mon, mon the hoops. 
Morning, Hoops. Hail, hail, Scotty. Hail, hail. Good for you. Just as well you're on, Eddie. That balances it out. Yeah, yeah. But see, all this, we were talk, you, you mentioned and you asked a question the last time, right? Yes. On the, the, the air, well, not the airwaves, the internet waves or whatever you want to call the, it. The live stream. Said, well, the internet yeah. phone in. Eddie, I thought the other day we'll just call it the internet phone in. The internet phone in. I, well, I think when it comes to um, the radio station, Scott, have you been on airwaves? I think that will take off like a rocket. The internet phone in? No, not the internet phone in. That, that, that's successful. I yes. Think it is. I was thinking about the, if you were on the airwaves, the actual radio station where people can listen to you at home and in the car. What I might say to a couple of radio stations is if they want to take our feed. Because I, yeah. I think what we're doing on the internet, it's, I'm getting huge, huge plaudits for it. People are saying, what you're doing on the internet is amazing. And I say, well, we'll That's grow funny. it on the internet, you know? Yeah, definitely, man. But I, I, I really look forward to the day you're on the airwaves. Yeah, but see me listening to you just now. And it's always yeah. frustrated me because what I do is virtually public service broadcasting. So in other words, it's yeah. something the BBC should be seriously looking at, having a chat yeah. with Scotty McClue. Now, they've got the technical side of it. So we could get out to everybody in the country. Right, I see. You know, yeah. but my frustration is that They've got their own kind of style, you know, and, and, and that's that. And they need to make the decision. Whereas right, on so here, really, so you really and I... Them, then, what's that, Eddie? It's really down to them. Then. It's down to them, yes. I can only take the horses to the water. I can't even make them drink. Understand. And I, what it I, needs, I, it needs somebody very high up in something like the BBC to make the decision. You don't want yeah. somebody just that's maybe just a local manager thinking well i can't even make that decision so you don't get anywhere aye but you've got you've got contacts in high places i've got very good contacts in high places but as i say you can only take them to the water you can't make them drink yeah you know yeah. And, and there's no, nothing i mean water. if anything they're all desperate for proper talent on radio and television, but they'll not right. look at the talent that's in front of their face. Well, there's one thing I, there's one, same one, same one, I'll say one so people can understand me. Aye. There's one thing I appreciate about you, Scotty, on the radio with you, you're not a guy who does it, does it for the money. No. You're a guy who's there for the people. Always. You're, you're very good at it. Always. If we're just doing it for the money, we'd go and work for a, a local clothing company or something, you know what I mean? Aye, aye. But listen, Scotty, I better get off this line in case you want to get, in case there's any more callers wanting to, to come in. No, but the lovely thing is that it's been great chatting to you. Thanks very much, Scotty. It's great. Oh, it's, it's always a pleasure chatting to you, my friend. Always a joy. Yes, and we'll catch up soon, Eddie. Stay fabulous. I will do. You too, Scotty. Dinky do, do, buddy. Do. Thank you, dude. Thank you, dude. Bye. Bye now. Bye. That's our ready. Oh, yeah. There we are. Fantastic. Right. So we know the phones are working, so that's okay. Margaret says, my house got tanned last night. They took everything, Sir Scotty. Margaret, I am so sorry to hear that. We need to bring back the birch for these people. Good to have you back on, mate. Thank you, Thomas. Gordon Robertson. Hello, Scotty. I was just about to take Oliver out for a walk. When I remembered you were on, ah, nothing gets past you, Gordon. Yes, indeed. It's very frustrating if you get into the habit of forgetting something. Ah, oh, don't tell me I've forgotten that again. TikTokers, good evening. It's Kimberly. Good day, sir. Hello, everybody. Uh, thank you very much for joining us. Hi, sir. How are you? Taps F for this legend. Bowing the goat. I thank you. Lovely to have you all on TikTok. And fabulous to have you all on YouTube and on Twitch. Can a lot of you, if you've got a Twitch account, go and watch me on Twitch? Because it helps if you're watching. It ups these numbers. And follow me on Twitch, Scotty underscore McClue. So if you're a gamer, get watching. You're brilliant, Scotty. Even if people are eating too many pies, you always tell it like it is. Of course we do, Nettie. Very, very important, and a big dinky-doo to you. 
Scotty, the smartest man on the internet, dinky doo. Well, Sean, I don't know about the smartest man, but this is the internet phone-in, and it is huge. I thank you. It's a joke, sir. They left the sunbed on. Ah, Margaret, I've got you. We'd love to take your live feed on Johnson Sound, says the wonderful Andy. Wow, Andy, how amazing would that be? I've got to go on Johnson Sound and talk to one of your top presenters because it's a fabulous radio station. Johnson Sound, guys, didn't you do? Thank you, Kayla, very kind of you. Thank you for your beautiful gifts on TikTok, Red Roses. Uh, fantastic. Glasgow Rangers, stop. There we go. Now then, who else have we got? Absolutely, you know, I left the sun bed on. I've heard that one now. I know what's coming. Fantastic. Good evening, Andy, and dinky do to you, you top man. So that's wonderful. Uh, we know that the phones are working. Feel free to come on and have a chat. Ryan says, hello there, Scotty. Hello, Ryan. You and I knew the same people. You're talking about Ricky Fulton and Jack Mulroy, Francie and Josie. What super guys they were. Dedicated their lives, their lives to entertainment. Whoa. Just having to give myself a mop doing here because it's roasting in this studio. Thank you very much. Bam, says Glasgow. What's bam? There we are. Yes, a bam bam. Now then, every time you come on, sir, you take a bow, Scotty. Margaret, you're very, very kind. Here's uh, Anita Dinkidu here, here. She is on Facebook. Now, I hope you're all enjoying it on Facebook. Obviously, we don't get the huge numbers we used to get. I can remember popping up on Facebook and being joined by 30,000 people. Things like that. Fantastic. But it's a different story now. Just a handful of geed kern, as we say. Uh, we need to make a correction. There we are. It was Ridry Mains. Ricky was born. It was Deniston. And he moved to Ridry Mains. Ah, Ryan, I know where you are. I know Deniston very well. Indeed, Duke Street. Do you know Duke Street? It used to be a lovely old Scottish Sam tune. Duke Street number nine. I'm trying to think how it went. Did you know Jimmy Greaves has passed away? Angela, I saw that at the weekend. And, of course, the Saint Ian St. John, when I used to introduce the Saint and Greavesy on a Saturday afternoon on ITV. Fantastic. Right now on ITV, it's time to join the Saint and Greavesy. How fantastic was that? Jimmy Greaves, the, the highest goal scorer ever. I was very interested in that. You live on Scotty's phone in? Who's that? Thank you, no, Scotty. Ah, Glenn, how are you, lad? I'm good, you. Glenn, did you try the phones earlier? I didn't, Scotty. No, I was just having my tea, to be honest, at that time. Right, and were they working? Uh, they were, yeah. Right, that's not so bad. Right, good stuff. Yeah, anyway. why they were a bit late coming on then, do you reckon? Well, no, they were a bit... I'm not sure I clicked something and then we got a call right away. Oh, we'll get there anyway. Well, well we yeah, have... it's... Hey, listen, it's technical stuff. The, the interesting thing yeah, about all the technology... It's so tiny. You're going to have a few technical problems, though, are you, Scott? Well, you're going to get, but you get that on an ongoing basis because if it's not one thing, it's another. But, you know, this is why, as I say, I've always admired the BBC's technical side, their infrastructure, because these are the that. things that fascinate me. I say, how many people can we get out to and we'll get gremlins. you an audience? A couple of gremlins, Scott. There's always a wee gremlin in the system. It doesn't matter. That's what, what you're going well, to get with technology, though, isn't it? It's what, what, yeah, well I, well, I can remember, you see, you used to have big telly cine machines oh, when you saw a movie on telly. Yeah. And if there was a, well, if there was a little bit of dirt in the film, it would stop yeah. the machine because it didn't want to damage the film, the celluloid. Oh. You so see? When, you know, when, when you come to think about it... Uh, the old and old pictures. Yeah. You're never going to beat that standard, are you? You still want to see the old, you know, like Chaplin and... Beautiful. And and absolutely fantastic. Do you remember in the days yeah. when you went to the, the pictures and the film would be playing and then you would see, like, two tiny little polo mints? Yeah. Do you know what they were? I do. Uh, come on, Scott. Uh. No, do you know them, no? 
I vaguely remember it. Yeah. Vaguely remember they were cinema cues to tell the projectionist when to change the reel. Brilliant. Very clever. Just tiny little. You would only as if you knew what you were looking for. Tiny yeah. little polaments. You thought, what's that? You thought it was like a little mark on the film. It's um, like I said, you're never going to be them kind of thing. That. No. Did I, uh, how many times? Tremendous projectionists yeah. and all these old movies. I mean, moving on to more modern stuff, Scotty. John Chalice has passed away, hasn't he? I saw that. What a wonderful actor he was. My old managing director knew him very well, said he was a lovely Bro guy. Boy, sir, brilliant. Yeah. Beachy Beachy yeah. says, are you still going live during day? Not right at the moment, Beachy Beachy. Is that something... Is that something you'll consider as it progresses then? Well, yes. I mean, we can look at all sorts of things. I mean, we might get to a stage. You know, I mean, I, I, I have a very, very busy day at the moment. But we might get to a stage we can do, you know, one in the morning and one at night. Exactly. Scotty, your fan base is crying out for you to stay on as long as you can, isn't it? Fan base is fantastic. See, the, the messages I, mean, I got over the weekend, people saying, can't wait till tomorrow night. Definitely. <laughs> But this, you see, this, I think, is proper entertainment. Now, yeah. it's not the movies, right? Yeah. It's not television channels. It's not full of adverts, but it's people talking. It's not this three times repeating same No, series. it's fresh That's every night. Rubbish. I once pulled a guy up. He says, oh, your, your phone-in program, it's kind of the same every night. I said, there's <laughs> never two nights the same. It's it's not rehearsed or anything. It's just yeah. It it is. Well, what we are doing now? You, you, you can't you can't rehearse that kind of quality. Well, because you and don't you know, know what's happening. It'd, it'd be so boring, though, wouldn't it? That, that just needs to be kept as it is, really. Well, know. a guy once said to me, he says, "I'm doing a show like yours. He does a show like mine, right? Yeah. And he uses some of my material and sayings and things, and." Uh, I said to him, well, the thing is, I always know nobody can do my show. I you said, that's a compliment, I said, yeah, a compliment, yeah, I imitation, the sincerest form of flattery. I said, nobody yeah. can do my show. And they I said, they said I, no, well, how do you know that? And I said, because I don't know, no, I said, they don't know what's coming next. Yeah, I correct. said, and the thing is, when I'm doing a show, neither do I. <laughs> you're a rarity, you're unique. We don't know what's coming next. You're, you're an original. You'll never be. You'll never be here. We don't know what's coming original. next, Glenn. Do you know what I'm I saying? Mean, before I let you go anyway, Scotty, does that annoy you? Know, like if you were uh, with technology these days and you've come across a problem and you tried to crack it, you know, like if something goes down on your yeah. computer or whatever. I always go on YouTube when I want to, you know, to troubleshoot some problems. Ah, they're very good. There's always going to be somebody that's got that problem. Well, there's always there. an answer. I mean, I had a problem with a motor car and I went on YouTube and saw how to do it. Exactly. Do you know? Brilliant. YouTube's a fantastic tool to... YouTube's gorgeous. Are. All we need to do is let every YouTuber know that McClue's going live every night and uh, to get them to subscribe, tap the bell... And start telling 10 to tell 10 to tell 10. The problems will be solved just straight away. So if you go onto YouTube and find this guy. Absolutely. Hey, and well, dinky uh, doo la. Scotty, have a good evening anyway. Yeah. And I'll keep listening anyway. Take so, care um, of thee, la. Very uh, important. Take care of this anyway, Scotty. Uh, dinky doo. Ta-da, dinky doo. Ta-da, la, la. Uh, well, that's our Glenn yeah. from uh, Sheffield. Well, he's, from, he's in the Midlands, but he's from Sheffield. Now, who have we got here? Nothing changes in Sheffield, says Nettie. The copper chopper's up again. Hello, Scotty. It's a funny old game, says Ronnie. Yeah, it's a funny old game. Greavesy. Fantastic. You're live on Scotty's phone. And who's that? Hi, Scotty. It's Kareem. How you doing? Ah, Kareem. Kareem, were you trying to get through earlier? I wasn't. No, that's me just getting on. There. Oh, that's okay then. I was beginning to get slightly concerned there was something wrong with the phones. And then right. I got one of the lads... Um, I asked Eddie down in Newmarket to give us a quick bell, and he came on. Right. Oh, no, that's good. So, so that was good. So we're all right. So, so you got through right away. 
Yes, everything was fine. Brilliant, brilliant. Yes. How are we, Scott? A good weekend. Oh, fantastic weekend. They go so quickly, though, don't they? I I was saying that to the, the kids today. It's, like, it's a four-day week. Yep. Next day is a four-day week. Right. After that's another four-day week. Then it's October, uh, the October week. You're off. Then after that's Halloween. Then it's Guy Fox. Then it's a countdown to Christmas. It goes by so quick. It just flies, and then you're back after Christmas, and then you're into another 2022. Oh, I, I, I'm still getting used to 2021. Scotland. Well, I'll be honest with you, Kareem. Even for a very well-organised man like yourself, the whole thing's quite a battle, isn't it? You've got to be on your toes all the time these days. Well, I, I was just saying to my friend the other day, I need a wee break again. Yes. You know, and this Friday, I'm going down to Carlisle for the weekend. So when it's uh, the big phone-in on Friday night, I'll be phone-in from down in England. How fabulous <laughs> is that? <laughs> yes, you're, you're fond of your Carlisle. Did you just discover it? In the last two years I have, yes, Scotty. Beforehand, I would pass through, like, I, I, I like going down to Blackpool. Yes. Uh, my, my brother worked there temporary, uh, and I went down to stay at his flat because he wasn't staying there anymore, and I just fell in love with the place. I really just thought it's fantastic, lots of parks, to walk your dog and it, as I said it's a gateway to the, the Lake District or anywhere else you want to go down beautiful that neck of the woods beautiful and as I say I think you want to explore up in the fell side side as well and I'll tell yes. you where else Kareem if you go out to the coast uh -huh. go out to the Solway coast and go out to Kirkbride I think that's where the big transmitter masts are right okay you know you'll see them and that looks over the Lake District and stuff and looks over the Solway and there's a road where there are, um, there's a road out towards Port Carlisle and Bowness on Solway and that. And uh -huh. it's got posts on the road that shows you where the water comes to at high tide. Ah, uh, that's nice. I'm just checking just now, there was a place I went to, and I've, the names went out of my head, but it's down the west coast there. And it's got like a big cliff edge that you would walk, and on the top was a massive crucifix that you see. And it's, it's actually it's really spectacular. It really, is. wonder where was it down West Cumbria, Maryport, Harabay, or further up uh, Silith? I'm just having a quick look just now on Silith? my maps, uh, and it's went out my head here. Yeah, West like Cumbria, Maryport. old mining villages, Whitehaven and Workington. It was Mayport, Mayport. Maryport. Oh, Maryport. Sorry. Maryport, Maryport, Maryport. Maryport's the old harbour and docks because that coast at one point was very busy with little mm -hmm. coasters going up and down between Maryport and uh, Preston Docks. Ah, right. You see? Okay. Um, yeah, it's... I'd like it, to see Working, is it Workington. Workington, fascinating, and Whitehaven. Right, yes. So that that that's that's on the cards. I I, did, I wasn't too keen on Maryport. I found it was quite a. It was nice to to see. I could tick off the box. I've seen it, but it was just uh, the atmosphere. You know, sometimes you go to a place and you think, I really like this atmosphere here. I didn't feel too much of an atmosphere. Well, no, you see, the problem. Another lovely little town is Silith itself, which is effectively a Georgian town with big wide streets overlooking the sea. Well, that'd be lovely. It's yeah. very nice. Silith's worth a little trip out. But you see, a lot of these towns, like so much of the United Kingdom, are no uh, longer doing the function they were built for. Uh, so you're terrific okay. mining, coal uh -huh. mining. See all this yeah. energy problem we've got. I said yeah. years ago, sometimes officials don't listen to Scotty McClure and they shoot. And I said yeah. years ago when they were shutting Long Annet, the coal-fired power station. Uh, I thought, don't be, don't knock it down and destroy it. Put it in mothballs because we could uh -huh. need it. Right. Okay. You see. Right. Right. And although we're Good trying God. to reduce our carbon footprint, what do you want? Do you want to keep the lights on? Do you want to run out of energy completely? You know, in uh -huh. the process of doing so, uh, you know, and people should think stations like Long Annet, they fed so much of the country. Uh-huh, yeah. yeah. The other one was uh, down down where we're talking, just outside Annan, was uh, Chapel Cross Nuclear Power Station. Right, okay, 
Uh, and it had, I think it was either three or four big cooling towers. Right, okay. You right. know, and then you had, um, you had uh, wind scale itself. Well, what was uh -huh. wind scale? You know? Uh, right. So you had that down in West Cumbria as well. It was massive, massive power stations. I've, have you ever been to a similar dish? To, I've never been, and everyone tells me it's one of the best out of the water, and it's Keswick. Keswick? Yes. Keswick, you would say. Yes, it's absolutely stunningly beautiful. Yeah. Yeah, because you've got all your different you've got all your different lakes. You've got Bassenthwaite and Windermere and Coniston. Yeah. Coniston's another one to see. It was Coniston that Donald Campbell was on when Bluebird blew up. Right, okay. You know, he I'm was doing looking. the world water speed record. Right. I'm just looking at Windermere just now. Quite a nice place. You know, all these are abs absolutely gorgeous, Kareem. And I mean, I, I fell in love with it 40 years ago. <laughs> you know, and then I went to Border Television 36 years ago. Years ago. Wow. wow. And I went to Grampian Television 37, 38 oh. years ago. Right. Goodness. You know, it's, a, it's incredible just where that time has gone. Somebody said last night, would you go back to reading the news on ITV? And I thought, well, I, I don't know if they'd have me. I'm probably too old now, but I've often thought, because I actually know the news editors in these big stations, and I thought it would be quite nice to ask just for one shift on a Saturday night to see if I could still do it. <laughs> you know, go on and say, I'm, I'm sure you can do it. Good evening. Very, very Here well. is the news. I'm, you know, and, and off we go. It's like riding a bike. You'd never forget, Scotty. Well, I don't think you do, but it is a remarkably coordinated thing because if right. you think about it, you're sitting at a little desk there. Um, uh -huh. There's chatter going on in, in your ears and an earpiece all the time, and you've yeah. got to sort out the wheat from the chaff. So they'll be talking to the control room and everything. You've got to sort out when they're talking to you. Then they go, stand by, here we go. So you have to sit up. Then you start reading, and you're reading off the auto cue. You're moving your pages in front of you. You're watching the clock and the time. You've got a floor manager in front of you counting you down to... You know, and all that stuff, and it goes yes. quiet. Then on come these huge lights. Now, they might have changed a bit, but they used to be so powerful that you could barely see a thing. <laughs> <laughs> so you're trying to read and stare at the camera, and you've yeah. got these lights in your face and somebody in your ear. It's like, like a big sunbed, how, how bright it would be in your eyes. Yeah, a guy once told me there was a job going on the BBC as an announcer for television. And right. what that involved in the days when you used to see the globe and, uh, and and all that, and you would hear the chat. Good evening, welcome to our programs for tonight. You see all this stuff, and uh, you know when that was going on, and somebody said to me, they patted me on the shoulder and they said, "Son, you don't want that job." And I said, "Why not?" He said, "Because it's a big video game where all the odds are stacked against you." <laughs> Well, Scotty, we wouldn't have had you on the radio if you did. Well, this is it. I mean, I, I think it's wonderful. You know, it was maybe if they said no to me at the BBC that we managed to bring in Scotty McClue. Mm -hmm. Well, I, I do believe, Scotty, everything happens for the reason, good or bad. Yes. Uh, we tend to reflect on the bad and we tend to ignore the good. And I'll tell you what I love about the radio, Kareem. I mean, I know you can see me at the moment, and that's no great yes. shakes. You know, it'd be much better for you if you couldn't see me. But I don't mind being seen. But, um, you know, the, the radio has an intimacy about it where it's just two people talking. And I think we've managed to capture that on here. Well, if you notice some of the radio stations just now, they they have like a, a kind of like a live stream. Like they're not interacting with people, but people can just like watch them. Mm. Um, and that happens not all the time because I don't. I don't. I, I I think it's pretty good that if you involve the people like what you're doing just now, people phoning, talking, interacting, they can see you. Um, and it it, it doesn't feel like a robot. I think like some of the other stations, I won't name them. Um, it's like a, if it was like a, a pop night, let's say. That you would see that whoever's presenting it, and then it is like 
interact. You'd think you were at a disco just watching them, but there's there's no interaction. And I no, I think I story. think this is what's missing from broadcasting, and it's letting the whole media down. They're not interacting with their audience. You see, local radio had a huge, huge following because they were interacting. Your DJs were local personalities. So you saw them, oh, my God, look, it's Karim. <laughs> and, right, and everybody would run after you going, Karim. And you go, yeah, I'm, I'm doing my shopping. What do you want? Can I get your autograph and all that? And anyway, they then DJed at dances and discos and what have you. And and uh -huh. it was a big thing. They'll go, um, you know, James and Marie got married on Saturday night and, and uh -huh. Kareem was doing the disco. It was huge. The man's uh -huh. brilliant. Uh -huh. You see all that. So you'd get the chat. Then if you're just an old lady up a high rise flat, you could phone the station between songs and have a quick uh -huh. chat with the DJ. Uh -huh. So yeah. I used to pick uh -huh. up the phone. I would go, oh, Red Rose Radio, you know, when there was a song on. And they'd go, yeah. oh, hi, Scotty, lovey. I'm just listening to you. Excellent. We don't have that anymore. Yeah. You know, it's taken away. Um, and I think that um, the, the good thing that we Scotty, the reason I started listening to you a couple of years ago was exactly this interaction yeah. and how you listen to people and very good advice. I mean, there's a lot of videos you've got on YouTube as well where you've got people that are really reaching out to you and you give them good sound advice. Um well, we, we do our best, Karim. And I'll tell you what I love about it. I know this won't put you yeah. up and down, but, but you are also now a video star and, and a radio star. And and people ask me, they go, what's Karim like? He sounds a right nice fella. I say, oh, he's a lovely guy, yeah? <laughs> and they think they think they think that your mates, they go, he's a mate of yours, isn't he? And you say, no, he phones in for a chat. That's it, yes. But if I ever seen you, Scotty, I would buy you a drink, a wee whiskey. Well, that'd be lovely. <laughs> the only thing is I don't any longer drink. Well, a cup of tea or a coffee. I'll, I'll a wee cup of tea off you. <laughs> there was a guy on your video who I always remember, and he had such a laugh. Whenever you were, I can't remember the video, but he had a really, he just laughed out all, literally. <laughs> oh, that's <laughs> Rob from Southport. That was a very ill, depressed old guy. Yeah. And then and we started, I refused to take him seriously because I could hear him when he came on. I thought, and I think he was about to say, Scotty, I don't, I haven't much time for this earth now. And I thought, I don't want a depressing call. So we just started on him. And I said, I, um, I said, uh, you know, where are you from? And he goes, I'm from Southport. I said, all right, I understand now. Is it depression? <laughs> you know, and he just starts. Yeah, and that's what he needed. And that would have made his night. I hope really he was bad. all right when he went off because the phone just went dead. Probably. <laughs> all the laughter, he probably needed a rest, but I'm sure I'm sure he'll be fine. But that, that to back to original point, that, that's the power of radio. Yeah. And one thing's for sure, when, when I'm going to be 80 or 90 or older, when I pass on, something that will still be here will still be radio because radio will be here forever, regardless whatever new technology comes in. Well, you know, it's so use. funny. No matter how much damage somebody does to radio thinking they're doing good, so you get a young programmer comes in and starts yes. to reinvent the wheel, yes. upsets everybody, and the audience disappear, and then they go, oh, well, well, it'll come back. We need to give it time, and it never uh -huh. does because they've broken the magic. So yeah. they don't yeah. last very long in the industry, but radio endures and it comes back. It's a bit like Scotty McClure. You know, people have been saying, if I had a pound for every time somebody said, yeah, that's never going to last. Mm -hmm. You know, people said, do you listen to Scotty McClure? I love it. Went, yeah, yeah, but that, that'll never last. Now, we're just coming up to our 30th year. Yes. Yeah. You know, now, is, yes. I don't know if that's lasted or not. And we're chatting away live across the internet. Yeah. And people but, will uh, find us, Kareem. They will find us. But it's still there as a record because if you're on the radio, Scotty, once it's on, it disappears. But this is, this is now there for life. People this stays. People 20, 30 years could be listening back to all these conversations thinking, wow, this was this was dynamite we don't have this now this is how no. this is how they did it in these days you know and and, and what's very interesting about this stuff 
I'll sometimes get a, a notification that somebody's watching a video that's seven years old, you know, and they're going, oh, this is brilliant, Scotty. I, I just enjoyed it. And I say, yeah, it's that seven years old. Yeah, yeah. And it's, it's, it serves a record. It's for people. It's great. And I, I just think, me at long last, um, but that's the power of radio and you're bringing your expertise to... To everybody. It's, it's, it's what we're doing, that, and it's a privilege talking to you. Have a lovely, lovely time in Cumbria because it's a very beautiful part of the world. Oh, thank you, Scott. I'm, mm -hmm. I'm just hoping it's going to be dry this weekend. It looks like it should be dry, so I'm going down with the dogs to get a good walk. But I'll be on the phone during the week anyway, and when it's the big live phone in 10 o'clock on Friday, I'll be giving a phone from down south. And that was a beauty. Friday and Saturday this week are outstanding phone-ins. They were really good discussions. A lot you know. of people phoning in. I really enjoyed having you on the big screen as well, listening to it. Um, it was really, really good. Thoroughly enjoyed that. Kareem, take great care of your dear self and dinky-doo. Dinky-doo. Speak to you tomorrow, Scott. Speak to you tomorrow. Bye -bye. Ta -la -la. What a top man there we are. Fabulous oh. guy. And uh, he knows what it's all about. Uh, there we are. Need to make a correction. We've done that one. Hi, Scotty. Good to see you, Scotty. Hope you're well, sir. Billy Ness, thank you. Dave Deprave, the Scotty and Kareem Show, yes. Hi, Scotty McClure, this is Aaron. The Scotty and Aaron Show. The Scotty and Dave Show. Hello, you're live with Scotty's phone in. Who's that? Uh, all right, Scotty, it's me again. Oh, Glenn, dinky doo la. Scotty, dinky doo. You'll never get anybody on radio broadcasting. All rain as long as you have over years. Isn't that amazing? I never think you. I, I, I'd be surprised if somebody does. Well, there's yeah. a couple of guys have been. There's one guy I know who's very big, and he must be in his seventies now. But there's oh, about. Yeah. I've always said this. There's about six of us in the world who do this. James Well, were a decent broadcaster. He's a great there. one, is James. Proper stuff. Yeah. Yep. He's one of them. Yeah, he's definitely I'm not going to yeah. all the names. I'm not going to all the names because I don't want to embarrass yeah. these guys. But no James is no one of them. And definitely, Scotty McClure yeah. is another. And then there's about another four of us. And the rest are yeah. really just kidding themselves. <laughs> when, you, when you come to local radio station. Here's Mac Maru, right? Now, Mac Maru in America. Howard Stern's been on for 40 plus years. Right. Right. So I've only been on for 37 years. Howard's been on for 40 plus. So there we are, and he's nearing his 70s. Howard Stern's another of them, so that's three of us. So I'm not doing any the, more the, names. Do you listen to the overseas broadcasters then, Scott? Well, I do. I listen, yeah. Howard Stern's uh, always good value, yes. I mean, he's, he's, he's quite fun. He was really one. He was the original, I would have said. Is he as good as you? Well, I don't oh, know. I don't know. How, it depends who's judging, doesn't it? It, it depends on your taste. We're biased towards you, though, aren't we? Us, us. Well, you spoil me. I think you spoil me, you lot. Yeah. Uh, when, you know? when it comes to it's Scotty all the way, isn't it? But then I spoil you, you see. It's 100% Scotty, yeah. <laughs> because... But like, like I keep on saying, what you see is what you get, isn't it? What you see is what you get, Glenn. Here it is, no, you know what I mean? You know, see, the camera no, doesn't lie. No airs and graces. You know, well, you, you can't have because we haven't got well, time for that. I mean... We've got to tell people straight, do you know what I'm saying? 100%, yeah, if they don't, if they don't stick to it. <laughs> It's tough, isn't it? Hey, we're getting some good names here. Angela says Walter Cronkite was a good broadcaster. He was. I, I look, like I said, I love some. I love comedy on radio, though, Scotty. I love controversial. Yes. Stuff. Yeah. Well, well, well. The controversial you, can be funny. You didn't do it intentionally, though. No, you? they started it. It, it, was, it just happened. It just happens. <laughs> they started it. Well, I mean, the likes of Mr. Martin and Susie, I didn't ring them. They rang me. Um, like I said, it's none of it's rehearsed. It's all just ground. It's all you just... Know, listen now, this just, is the worst program I've ever all, had in my life. It's all to a uh, fine man. He's great, wasn't he? Yeah. <laughs> but I bet it was a sad day when you heard... Uh, yeah, he's still listening, though. Yeah, he's listening, definitely. Definitely not. Scotty, I think if, uh, if, like I said, these younger these younger radio DJs 
these broadcasters, they've got to be reading into your material. Yeah. Yeah, well, they are. They, they, some of them nick it and use it, but it doesn't do them any good because people go, ah, he's just taking Scotty McClue's lines, isn't he? You don't get, no, like I said, you don't get no phone like that now, though, do you? No, not really. There's, there's, there's not much to speak of at all. Like, you, like on local radio, you don't get no... I love this. Listen to Billy here. Gotta go and pick up the wife. Catch you later. Love that. <laughs> Thanks, Billy. Take care, la. Uh, Glenn, I'm good uh, after Dash, la. Scotty, like I said, I'll, I'll let you go in a second. Anyway, but it's, just keep the good work up in it and just... You're a top man. To I nice thank thee. Hey, and dig, 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 you do, dig you do, la la. Ta -da. Now there we are. That's our Glenn. Yeah, some man. He's got two calls a night. How sounds changed over, Scotty? You've never changed. You're exactly the same as you were 25 years ago. Well, I am, Suzanne. And some people would say, oh, it needs to be changed and it needs to move on. You know, this is one. Move on's one. What else annoys you? What about get closure? We need closure. That sort of thing. What about that one? What about uh, Snowflake? David Lafferty, Dinky Doo. A lot of us listened to you 25 years ago. Me, for one, it's funny. We haven't forgotten you for some reason. You seem to stick. It's your personality, Scotty. You live on Scotty's phone in, who's that? It's Jerry. It's who? Jerry. Jerry. Yeah. Thank you, dude, Jerry. Lovely to hear you. <laughs> and you. Very good. How are you tonight? And we're absolutely, absolutely stunning tonight. And uh, you still feeling the heat? Oh, I'm feeling the heat in here. My goodness, we are feeling the heat. I'm under, oh. I'm under the cosh. I must be uh, the outer Hebrides. I'm a bit cold tonight. Are but... you cold? Yes. Whereabouts are you? But are you not Central Scotland, Jerry? Um, I'm Hi. In, uh, the north side, north side of the Glasgow. North side of the river's very good. I remember a friend saying, "I always prefer the north side." You know. Yeah, I think you say you stayed in Mary Hill. Mary Hill, absolutely, yes, indeed. Yes. Just round from the barracks. Aye, it's always that once. And I'm just round from the wonderful. barracks, and I used to go up there. At that time, they've changed it now, but the shopping centre was built where the old Mary Hill Central Station was. That's right, for well, the Tesco. Yeah. That's above it. Yeah. That's right. Well, at that time, I think it was the coal. The coal? Yeah. And there was uh, a sort uh, of shopping arcade. That's right. That's exactly. And that was that's right on the old the station. The trains came in sideways and then went under a tunnel at the back of uh, the back of Gary Quadrant, I think. That's right, Gary Road. Yep, that's it, the Garrick Road. Lovely, lovely nice. roads. Nice. Um, can we ask the questions tonight? We can. Right. It's uh, either or, and it's actors, comedy, actresses, books and movies. Right. So, the first off is actors. What's your preference? Lawrence Alvey or Orson Welles? I'll go for, I'll go for Lawrence Olivier. Right, good, good choice. Right. Comedies and tonight's TV comedies, Dad's Army or Hancock? Uh, I could go for either, but I'll go for Dad's Army. Oh, that's a surprise. I thought you'd have went for Tony Hancock. No, I love Tony that's Hancock. Hancock's half hour. That's uh, brilliant. Actresses, Geraldine McEwen or Maggie Smith? Well, both of them played Miss Jean Brodie. Geraldine played her on Scottish television and Maggie Smith played her in The Pride of Miss Jean Brodie, the movie with Gordon Jackson. That's right. Uh, that's, uh, that brings it back to me there. See, you see I'm not just an athlete. Uh, not just a pretty face. Books is to, uh, uh, to Kill a Mockingbird yes. or George Orwell's 1984. I'll go for either. I love them both. All right. I well, love them well, both. But, I mean, I love well, George Orwell, Eric Blair. Right. Next question. It's movies this time. It's A Man for All Seasons. Yes. Or Citizen Kane. Both beautiful Citizen Kane again. Orson Welles, yes. Right. So and you'd both... I go for them, but I love a man for all seasons. All seasons, and the star. Who was the star of that? 
Uh, the star of that, well, oh, you had several, was it not? Um, do you mean male or female? Male. male. Do you mean who played Henry VIII? Uh, was that not Orson Welles? I think it was. Aye. What about the actor uh, Schofield? Paul Schofield, yes. Outstanding actor. Brilliant. Outstanding. Because I watched a programme last night um, on Arena, on YouTube, and a uh, talented, talented guy there. Oh, Paul Schofield is an outstanding, great theatre actor as well. That's it. That's the, the, that was following him in his career on theatre. And a very shy guy, didn't want to be in the limelight. Yep, I remember a girlfriend of mine telling me she used to wait outside the stage door to get Paul Schofield's autograph. Is that right? Yep. Uh, in London, you see, you used to see these guys. I can remember driving around London and above the theatre were the names of the actors in all the different theatres in the West End. And I can remember seeing up in huge letters, Andrew Cruikshank. Andrew Cruikshank. Is that not... Dr. Finlay? Dr. Cameron in Dr. Finlay Don't was Andrew Cruikshank. Aye, aye, that's good by a bit. Is yes, right? yes, and he was, he was on in the theatre. Leslie Phillips on in some aye, farce. Yeah, yep. aye, oh, on. hello. Dr. Hello. Hello, <laughs> Leslie Phillips, <Hello>. fantastic. <laughs> I joined your, your thing on TikTok about uh, speaking into the mug. Oh, did you like that? Yes. Oh, we like used that. to have to do our own effects, and I can remember a friend of mine, have you ever been given something, Jerry, for Christmas, and it's a really odd thing, and it ends up using a wee cupboard under the sink? And right. uh, this was a salad dryer. And what you did was you put your lettuce and tomato in, you washed them in your basin, you put them in this, and then you wound a handle and spun it, and the water came out the side. Right? Right. So this guy was showing me, and then he came out with it, and I thought it was genius. He was drying the salad, and he said, doesn't this remind you of the tube in London? Mind the doors, and then he wound it, and it went, <laughs> and I thought, that's fantastic. Now, if you'd stuck that in front of a microphone, you've got the tube. Aye, and those BBC Radio 4 plays. Yes. Aye. The home service. BBC Herbal Service. Yeah, so and they always they always spoke like that. Was that that's how it sounded. <laughs> if you shut your eyes and watch that wee TikTok video, it'll just even, sound like you've put the radio on. Even uh, when you introduced Hancocks, was it not BBC London or whatever it was? Hancocks Hanc have her. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> There's well, a lady here just said Bob Danvers Walker. Now, on um, Take Your Pick, Michael Miles presented it, and okay. Michael's used to say, and now to find about, find out, um, sorry, Michael Miles would say, and now to find out about tonight's prizes, we join, we're joined by Bob Danvers Walker, and he would say, thank you, Michael, tonight, what we've got <laughs> for you. It was wonderful. That was Take Your Pick. Take Your, uh, take your Pick, and it was Open the Box, Take the Money. That's right, I remember that. Remember they used to have a round of you could say yes or no? Yes or no. Yes, and that was it, and they had the gong. Oh, you said no. Are you sure? And are you taking the money? Open yeah. the box, go on. Open Take the, the money, box. open the box. And there was a, a very, very senior BBC executive called Hugh Weldon, Sir Hugh Weldon. But if yeah, you go back name. to the 50s, Hugh Weldon was, I think, the first presenter of Cracker Jack. Was it? Yep. I so so you see things like he's got two young schoolboys in their uniform on. He's going, and your name? And they use their second names. So Smithers oh. saw and Brown saw. Oh, yeah. Smithers and Brown, yes. And do you get any pocket <laughs> money? Yes, sir. How much do you get? Uh, a shilling a week? Oh, a shilling a week. That's not bad, is it? That's rather, rather, you're rather wealthy. For having a shilling. It's all that sort of nonsense, you know. Yeah. Jerry, I'm going to have to dash or we'll get, know, we'll get shut down. Lovely to hear you. And we'll talk soon. We'll talk soon. Dinky-doo, my boy. That's our Jerry, a very fine broadcaster. Now, 
I'm going to have to say goodnight to the TikTokers. TikTokers, you're leaving us, but it's been a joy and a privilege. Catch up later. Dinky-doo. So there we are. The TikTokers are leaving us. Oh, farewell to the TikTokers.